I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it, move it, move it. Good morning, Stoddard Wolves. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Some quick student shout outs for Challenge 24. Madeline and Luke L. in third grade. Danyar and Eli L. in fifth grade. And last but not least, Zaire in fourth grade. Great job with the Challenge 24. Also, yesterday we talked a little bit about um, setting goals for the week. I want to give a huge shout out to Muhammad for reaching a goal yesterday of 10,000 points in typing agent. Way to go, Muhammad. Moving right along. Challenge 24 numbers, I'm sorry, challenge 24 numbers today are problem one, three, two, 23, and eight. Problem one again, three, two, 23, and eight. Problem two, three, four, three, and 15. I repeat. Three, four, three, and 15. Our quote of the day, I got to give a huge shout out uh, to Miss Vajegas for the quote of the day. I saw this on the bottom of her email this morning and it inspired me to share it with you. It says, we may be isolated, but we are not alone. Stay safe. And stay wolf strong. That is a great quote because it goes along with our core value of the week, which is collaboration. If we stay wolf strong, not only by ourselves, but with our community and with our friends and our families and others, we will stay strong. Student tips of the day. Have fun and challenge your friends while learning. Hey, what does this mean? This means that, hey, you might have a friend that's really frustrated over a problem they can't solve and you help them with it. And you may take a break and say, hey, let's have a little bit of fun and play this game together and get back to work. Students, we understand we know that you need brain breaks and movement breaks and stuff like that. But remember, learning is supposed to be fun. So make learning fun and take breaks to have fun while you're doing your work. Parent tips. Hey, the parent tip of it today is you're doing a great job. Do not think that you are not doing a great job because we notice that you are. Your students are learning, and the reason that they are learning is because of you. So keep up the great work, parents, or should I say, teachers. So our STEM activity and experiment yesterday, we started a new project yesterday, and an activity that was around called Technology Bags. So with these technology bags is we're trying to get um, students away from thinking that just iPads and um, um, the new iPhone XR and this, this new computer is the only sense of technology. We're really trying to teach students that technology are things that were invented to make the lives of us easier. So yesterday we pulled out a, hmm, a fork. Technology? Yes. Also, we pulled out a can opener, okay? Now, I'm gonna direct you really quick to this anchor chart that I made right here. You probably can't see it, but that's okay. Use your listening ears, 
okay? So first up here, it says, this is for STEM enrichment class, okay? So with that, technology bags, all right? Directions, watch this newscast daily for guidance with questions. View technology and conduct short research to answer the following questions. And remember, when you're doing research, students, no Wikipedia. Questions that you should be able to answer as you do this research. What did people use before this technology was invented? What did they use before? Question two. How did this technology make things easier for human beings after it was invented and put into use? So how did this technology make it easier for humans? Question three, what innovative ideas do you think will be invented in the future to improve this technology and making things even easier for us? Okay, and last but not least, I want you to draw a diagram of your innovative ideas of what this technology might look like in the future to make it easier for us. So that was your STEM enrichment technology bags activity for the day. All right, moving right along. Uh, more shout outs. This, is, um, this shout out is to all the parents tapping into their childhood games and teaching your kiddos other games from your childhood. What I mean by that is like putting together puzzles, um, maybe uh, ordering a yo-yo and teaching them different tricks with a yo-yo, um, hand clap games like Miss Mary, Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 things like that. Um, or even Simon Says, parents, which, which might work to your benefit, okay? So pull out some of those childhood games and those backyard games that you used to do as a child and teach them to your students. Resources for today. Yesterday, we talked about Alo Yoga, A-L-O Yoga, okay? That is a movement break in a mindful moment all in one. Hopefully you got a chance to check out Aloe Yoga. Okay, if you didn't, check it out today. But we got another one for you. It is called Free Kidster Cooking Kit. Hey, this is a great idea because now that we have so much time and um, our kids are always like, I just want to help. Why can't I help with dinner? And we're thinking in our brains, parents that, no, you're just going to mess it up or you're going to do something like that. Hey, let the kids help. And this is a perfect resource to have kids help. Once again, let me read it to you. Free Kidster Cooking Kit to help families learning at home during the coronavirus outbreak. Kidster is giving away 15,000 free cooking kits. Enjoy three delicious recipe, recipes, sorry, plus, uh, plus cooking tools, game tips, and learning activities. Wow, this sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Kidster Cooking Kit. Hey parents, students, check it out. So in closing today, I just want to wish everybody a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It gives you updates and also it lets me know that you're engaged. Now, I've noticed that on our first day, we started off like way up here. And slowly our views have been coming down here. So please let me know that you're engaged. Remember, I'm doing it for you, students, because I care. Um, also, if you have any ideas for the newscast or something you want to see, please comment below as well. This is your time to shine. Let me know what you want to see. Don't just be posting Challenge 24 answers down there. Leave me something or send me an email. Let me know what you would like to see. Also, right after this newscast, Mr. McCants is going to be posting a read aloud of 
I love you, mommy. This is going to be a read aloud that I'm using um, for our younger students to get them engaged. Hey, and who doesn't love their mom? What a perfect book to start off our read alouds. So tune in out right after this for our read aloud. Hey, signing off. This is Mr. McCants from McCants Studios. I hope you enjoyed today's daily news and we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day on purpose. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it, move it, move it. the world, original King Julian for the salesman, I love how all the girls move their body, and when you move